This is my boyfriend Ben's rental property kitchen and it's absolutely hideous. We're gonna have to redo it, but we're gonna have to do it on a budget. I think we can do it for 2,500. Let's see what happens. So we saw this kitchen for sale on Facebook Marketplace and we thought it was fantastic, so we bought it for $2,250. The purchase price included all cabinets, the faucet and sink, the under cabinet lighting, and all of the appliances. Once we have this kitchen installed, it's going to be super easy to use. Installing it, however, not so easy. Fortunately for me, that's a Ben problem. The very first thing that I wanted to change about this kitchen was to take out the incredibly ugly closet and replace it with a spectacular spice rack. So this closet has got to go. The closet is way too shallow for anything to fit in there. The closet door takes up quarter of the space and it's just super ugly. It's just so shallow. What could even fit in there? But it would make an epic spice rack. Okay, I am obsessed with spice racks. Every great kitchen needs a full wall spice rack. They're beautiful and super functional. I love being able to walk up to my spice rack see all of my spices and just let my creativity run wild. My spice rack actually has a lot more on it than just spices. I use it to keep oils, vinegars, nuts, seeds, flowers, beans, and sugars. These are all kept in a specific slot on the spice rack and are labeled. Everything is easy to see at a glance and best of all, when the jar is empty, I know I need to replace that ingredient making grocery shopping so much more easy. Ben removed the hideous closet and replaced it with a custom built shelving unit made of pine and then painted white. The shelves are six inches deep and two feet wide, allowing plenty of storage for any of your pantry needs. I also noticed this beautiful window right here. Um, and I am assuming that the fridge, because the space on either side of this uh, set of cabinets is equal. So one or the other can have a fridge, but if you were to put it against this one, obviously you'd be blocking part of the window, which is a bad idea. So my idea here is to move um, the cabinets so that they start right right about here. So cut them a half and use the other half of this area as a really sweet dining nook. So a breakfast nook over here. And then to move um, the refrigerator, instead of having it here, I think it would be better placed. See, there's nothing along this wall here. So if we put the fridge there, and remove the other cabinets, replacing them with a corner cabinet. We will shorten up our work triangle and allow a space for a beautiful dining area. The work triangle is the distance between the fridge, the stove, and the sink. Ideally, you would like a one pivot move in between these three areas of your kitchen. So the third thing that we did to really transform this kitchen was to have a defined prep area. 
So the area in between the stove and the sink is where we want the prep to be done. So Ben installed the magnetic knife holder back here for us and the uh, holder for the cutting board. So we just take that down, grab a knife, and cut. When it's time to cook, you can just grab your pots right down, put them on the element, put your ingredients in there. It's so simple, guys. And then um, once it's done, again, you just quickly rinse it, and then throw it away. So when it comes time to fill this kitchen up with stuff, I recommend that you follow my keep sheet. Other experts will tell you to just keep what brings you joy, but I say that you just need what's on my keep sheet. How do I know that this is all that you need? I ran a plant-based, gluten-free catering company, and I'd make 100 bowls of soup a day, and all that I needed was what was on this keep sheet. How do you get this keep sheet? It's in the description below. Or you can buy my brand new book called The Busy Mom's Guide to a Clean Kitchen. And that's gonna be released on September 1st. This kitchen has been completely transformed from hideous to highly functional. And we did it by removing that closet and replacing it with this gorgeous, super functional spice rack. We moved all of the cabinets that were on the exterior wall, repositioning them to allow for an opening to accommodate a gorgeous kitchen nook. Also tightening up that work triangle, bringing the fridge, stove, and sink into a one pivot triangle. And finally, we added a beautiful prep area where our knives, cutting board, pots and pans and towels are all within reach so it's super easy to make your meals and even easier to clean up from those meals. We were able to do it for the budget of 2500 however Ben wasn't happy with the end result of how the countertop looked so he bought a new one blowing the budget by almost a thousand dollars but I'm not complaining because I also got a gorgeous new kitchen out of the deal we took the appliances and put them into my existing kitchen and it totally transformed how our kitchen looks if you like this video and you found it entertaining and inspiring please hit the like and subscribe buttons below Thanks for watching, everybody.